Entry number 10. Found a strange ruin under my island. Spiders spew out of it like smoke from a fire. Thousands of skittering legs and chittering mandibles. Stuff of nightmares. I've been using them as supplies for the brothers and sisters here on the island. They appreciate the webs, at the very least. Reunited with my parrot friend again, and he seems quite happy here on the island with me. I should find him some friends, though. I know what it's like to be the only pirate on an island of villagers. Despite how well things go are going here on the island, something is compelling me to return to that dimension of flame and death. That terrible fortress to the north lingers in my mind. What treasures lay inside? What horrors? My curiosity is overwhelming. A tiny little peek won't hurt, right? Just a little look and then I'll get more work done here on the island. There are many people here, all looking for places to live in. One little distraction and then I'll focus. Too many bad sounds right now. Diamonds. Nether wart. Good, good. I needed that. Honestly, one of the only reasons I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't like that. So they're somewhere up there, but the question is, how do I get up there? Maybe this is one of those, to go up, you must first go down situations. Christmas all over again.
think we're done. And I think it was a very fruitful journey. Lots of nether wart and loot and blaze rods and things. Not too shabby for something that I was absolutely petrified to do. Ahoy thar, me matey, and welcome to episode 10 of Sweet Taffy Survival Series. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> so, as you saw, we now have an XP farm, well, kind of, little spider spawner. It, it does good for what I need it to. <laughs> and I found my pi- er, Yeah, my pirate companion. That, that is definitely what I was trying to say, and not parrot. <laughs> I found my parrot. And I did go on a little bit of another adventure. It was um interesting. I didn't die. That that's a plus. And I got some blaze powder and a couple of other goodies. Including nether wart, so I think it was a success. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little while before I have to go back there. Right? Right? <laughs> ah. But, yes, I... I know I say this all the time, but I have a lot planned for this episode, and I'm gonna do a lot this time. I've even decided that, hey, I don't mind if this doesn't get uploaded on the usual day. So, um, if it's not Tuesday, hello! <laughs> if it is Tuesday, then, like, uh, wow, I... I am speed. <laughs> and it's dark. I'm gonna put my armor back on. But, yes. We've managed to cross a few things off of our uh, to-do board. But that just means that now we can put more things on. I plan on knocking... a couple of these off the board right away. But I'm gonna put them on anyway. And I know that's going to bother some of you. <laughs> I'm not fixing it, though. So yes, to build the smelter forge thingy, I need iron. So we've got to build an iron farm first. Good news is we have plenty of villagers. Um, what else do we need to get done? Boop, 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 ba -doop, ba -doop. Now this is going to be one of those long-term goals, but it's it's going to be pretty far from now-ish. But... That's a definitely a next... Not next episode, next, 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 next episode kind of deal. <laughs> I am nowhere near prepared for that. Hmm. And then I should add another thing. If I can think of another thing. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, I know. I want to make a moss farm, because I've been clearing out the basement layer by layer to make moss for this build that I want to make, and it, it's taken a while. That's good. But, um, I, I suppose... Before I can, you know, do that, or that, or think about that, or that, even I should do that. 
It uh, means, one, I need to figure out how to make an iron farm, and two, I've got to deal with villagers. I hate villagers. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. We need a name for this guy here. He needs a name. What do you think we should call him? Put your suggestions in the comments. Please and thank you. We're off to make an armor farm. Or er, armor uh, iron. Iron. Oh dear. It's an iron farm! Yay! <laughs> um, obviously I followed a tutorial for this because original redstone is, um, far beyond the great Captain Taffy's capabilities. So I will, uh, leave a link to the shulker craft video that I followed to make this. Yeah. But uh, hopefully, you know, I leave that running while I work on the actual build for this episode. And uh, it should there should be enough iron for me to actually finish the thing that I'm planning on building. Yeah! I'm gonna go to bed and uh, start the time lapse.
So, I may have built a little bit more than I planned to. Well, I say that, but I did kind of plan this all out. I just got carried away with the planning. It's not quite done. There's still some details here and there that I want to add. And the interiors are definitely not done yet. I'll just hop ashore and... Oh yeah, I added a little stall there. I thought it was kind of looking blank, so I might add another one up here and just make the docks look a little bit more livelier. But, uh, yeah. We've got... As I said, the interiors aren't done, but this is also the elevator down to my spider spawner that you saw at the beginning there. I have a couple ideas for the interior for this one, but I'm going to save those either for like a live stream or in between videos or something. I don't know. Uh, down here, it just kind of leads to this empty space. I do plan on doing something with this. I just don't know what that something is yet. But it's ugly, so we won't look at it too much longer. <laughs> And then we got the staircase here, and you can either go into the forge building, or up onto the boat. I love this boat. <laughs> I imagine it... It looked like, you know, the other wrecks, kind of, but whoever is running the store down there, or the one up here, they just kind of went for it and painted it all, and I love it. <laughs> Again, interior is not done, but I do plan on putting some villagers in here. I'm thinking the boat's going to be for fishermen. Like if I just get them all trading cod or buying cod or whatever. So that way when I do the prismarine farm, I have something to do with all the fish besides taming every cat that I see. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to have to get some honey blocks and zombie proof some stuff I think but uh soon again an another day as is that thing that thing is definitely a problem for another day uh, and in here we've got our smelter it does its job it I didn't smelt all this. Some of this is from the iron farm that I was just putting in here. And, of course, more spots for villagers. I'm thinking, like, armor smiths or tool smiths or whatever they are. Blacksmith people. The people that trade metal. They can go in here. Little table for not working. and I kind of feel like... I need to put something in this area just to make it look a little bit more lived in, but I'll figure that out later. Uh, so we do have a kelp farm hooked up to there. I've been turning it into kelp blocks as it goes. Uh, here we just have this little hallway here. I do plan on putting a staircase in to get to the floor down there. Um, and then we can't really go up there because it's a kelp farm and it'll flood the place. Yeah, there's just like this little walkway overlooking the ocean and the docks and things. I'll fix this up too. Yeah, I didn't realize I left that part there. Yeah. And yeah, I tried to make it similar, like the brick part of it at least, similar to this base thing that the tavern sits on. I don't know what to call this. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I 
And I just think it, like, contrasts hilariously with, like, the party wreck, and then you've got just stone brick building. It looked really plain, so I added some fake windows in. They look nice at night, at least. And then to kind of show that this is a forage area, I've got like this little outdoor forage. It is, of course, um, sailor proofed. Because I can just imagine someone stumbling up from the docks and falling into the Bernie Pit thing. So yeah, and there's a couple of anvils and stuff. I'm definitely going to keep tweaking this area out a little bit, but there's a path and some greenery. And a path leading up to here, and it's slowly but surely, it's all getting connected and filled out. And I'm just really happy. I am going to have to do some more work on the docks too. We've, we've got to get some boats in here. It's like, what's the point in having all this if there's nobody showing up to visit? Hmm. But now that this is done, I think I can knock a few signs down from our to-do list. So let's see. Hmm. We don't need a fuel source, we don't need an iron farm, or a smelter forge thingy. Which means I'm gonna have to think up three more things for us to do. But, uh, or you guys could think up three more things for us to do. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. In the comments, I want you guys to leave some suggestions for things that you think our island needs. As well as a name for our uh, little pirate companion here. And uh, yeah, I think we're done for today. We've done a lot, right? That's a good hard day's work. <laughs> so, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to, you know, like, subscribe, hit the bell thing. Leave a comment. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram stuff, all the links in the description, as well as the link to the Iron Farm tutorial that I followed, and I think I remember which video I learned how to make the kelp farm from. The one that I built today was kind of based off memory. I probably should have brushed up on that before I built the farm, but, um, oops. So I'll try to find that and leave the link to it as well. Okay? Okay. Great. Bye! See you in the next video! Oh! And don't forget, you're doing a fantastic job, and I'm very proud of you. Okay, you can run away now. Bye!